the day 39 new schools coming to Dubai this year. So parents, if you're watching and if you're worried that your little ones might not secure a spot in a school this coming year, well, Dubai just announced that the private education sector will add 39 new schools, universities and early childhood centers in the 2024 to 2025 academic year. There are currently 220 schools, 274 early childhood centers and as well 38 higher education institutions, all of which are expected to grow in the coming year. Additionally, five new UK schools are opening. Dubai British School in Jumeirah, Gems Founders School Dubai South, a new Dawn Private School in Mahesan, and as well Hamptons uh, Heights uh, International School in Tuar and Springfield International School in al Uh I would, let me say that this is honestly amazing. <laughs> And along with that, 29 early childhood centers, ECCs, are also due to open in the new academic year. Along with that, seven uh, that opened their doors in June and July, so they're already open. So this means there are more than 16,000 new bums on seats available for children attending this academic school year, um, which, uh, you know, it will lead us to talk about, um, I think, like what that means for the roads, what that means for property prices uh, very shortly. But it just shows that the demand is there. Dubai is facilitating that demand. And as we go back to school, we think about our back to school memories. Oh my God. And our best and our worst. Like, were you a. Um, and we put this question out on Instagram as well. So if you have a response, what is your best and worst uh, memory? memory? We'd, we'd love to read to it on the live. Hmm. Were you like a excited for back to school season or were you like hating life, like did the pit in your stomach? I loved back to school shopping. I yeah. loved it so yeah. much. The smell of new books, the smell of like the, the pencils the and, stationery. and everything. It was my favorite thing the to do. school bags. Everything. Oh my God. Yeah, I needed to have like a new school bag every single year. Yeah, however, however, the first day of school, I would be puking. I'd be like, Mom, I have a very bad stomach ache. I'm going to puke. Oh, my God, I'm puking. And Sorry, there's a, there's a difference. Were you going to puke or you actually puked? I would actually puke. I would actually Whoa. puke. And then my mom would look at me like, Farah, that's so dramatic. And I'd be like, yeah, Mom, oh my God, I can't go to school. <laughs> I'm sick. And then she'd be like, no, you're not sick. This is just anxiety. <laughs> there you go. You can drink this. You can, you can drink this and you'll be fine. And I'd be like, okay. you know what I love? I think the generation has changed so much that, what like, was yours? Uh, I was just say, like, the generation has t- changed so much that, like, you know, 10 years ago, oh, that's just anxiety, off you go. While now, if you think that your child has anxiety, you have it, like, it, it yeah. changes the game. I think I was a nervous kid going back to school, but my near memories are when I was teaching here. And like as a teacher, you had such an incredible summer break because, you know, you live in Dubai, you have the opportunity to travel east, west. You've got two years as an adult that are paid. It's the That's best true. thing ever. And then, and then you're out of your routine. It's fully out of whack. And then you come back in, all the teachers descend. We were staying in a compound. So like 60 teachers mm-hmm. in these five villas. Um, uh, so like you're living among your colleagues. And the night before you go back to school after the summer break, mm. it felt like there was like this like heavy cloud <laughs> of dark <laughs> energy. And you just sit there. Now, uh, some people were different, but me and my friends were like, oh, like, we're going to get back to school. It's just that, that massive flip of, and you know, it's, it's only the feeling. You go yeah. in the first day, you see the kids. It's, gr- it's actually great. And you remember like it's the loveliness of it and, and you start building your relationship. Like, really? Like, because there's some cuties. I was, but some of them can be like very like real fi- evil people. I'm fine. Maybe I look back at there's some like looking back on it with rose tinted lenses. Yeah. Like there's some adorable kids and so sweet and they give you hugs. I'm just saying that like it's always the, yeah. feeling, the feeling. But That's when true. you get into it, it's fine. Like it's always, I think we overthink things, we overanalyze things. Oh, and then God, when you go back, yeah. it's absolutely fine. But I it was the, the, fe- the night before, it literally felt like there was a dark cloud hanging over school, over the villas. And you'd be like, oh, uh, I mean, here. I Why? don't know, honestly. <laughs> but like for me, like I would like go immediately and I would try to be on my best behavior for the teacher. And I would sit in front and I would have like my notebook and I would have like the date written in a color and uh. the... Uh, uh, I don't know, the subject written in another color and uh, my content written in another color because, like, you know, back then we didn't have iPads and things like that, like, uh, the, this year, these 
here's cool kids. You're so, a creative kid. Yes, and I was like, and I would like be very careful of my notebook. I was, as my friends called me, a nerd. I was not really a nerd. I was just like very. Did you share your pens, or were you like a hogger? No, I did, I did not share anything. Yeah, and my friends would like, like try to annoy me, <laughs> and they would like bring like a blue pen on my. Uh, page that was supposed to be in like green oh. and they would be like hmm. I'd be like How dare you yeah. there's two types of kids in this world I think I was the other I, one I, I was the messy scribbler <laughs> um back to school leads yes. us back